afraid the music will have to go on hold for a second. You may turn it off whenever you need to. Is it on Alexa? It's on the vinyl. Vinyl, stop <laughs> playing. Good morning everybody, welcome back to another random little vlog for no apparent reason. My favourite style of vlog. It is bright and early, Sunday morning. Uh, it's actually Coachella weekend, but you'll find me at Coachella with Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Considering it's a Sunday, I've got some makeup on, I've had a shower, I've got proper clothes on. What's going on? We're actually going out today, which is almost unheard of for a Sunday, but we're gonna be heading to Brighton. We've got a couple of friends who are mad enough to be doing the Brighton Marathon today. Um, so we're gonna head over to the seaside to show our support by drinking some beers on the beach. Uh, that's the kind of marathon that I'm into. We definitely won't be running the marathon, not quite there yet. Only on week two of Couch to 5K, I think. So maybe a little bit of a way to go before I get to the marathon. Adam might have a go. <laughs> Adam's currently doing the Zelda marathon instead on the Nintendo Switch, but he did make bacon sandwiches this morning. So that's fair enough. He's earned some yeah. Nintendo Switch time, I think. So we're just taking it easy before we head over. We're hoping to get there about midday so that we can catch the last half an hour basically and see them crossing the finish line so that'll be really cool we've got a couple of little bits and bobs to do before we head out this morning um we thought we'd try and be like vaguely productive before we go and get drunk on the beach the main job this morning is that we've got a new print wall to create so we've got this main one in the living room here uh, which you've seen millions of times in the background of my videos but this wall leading up to the stairs needed a bit of a makeover so I popped onto Decenio this week which is my favourite place to get prints from and they've all arrived this morning and I've put them all into the frames so now we have got to try and construct a new print wall that's our job for the morning so this is our staircase from the living room that goes up to the office um, and at the moment I've just covered it in like a complete random mixture of stuff there's a Gryffindor flag on the wall there's this mirror that's not even positioned so that you can see your face properly and a few just little random prints that don't really go together so here's a little sneak peek at what we've gone for this time i've just spent about half an hour or so putting these all in the matching frames which i also got through decenio they're a bit of a weird random combo but i think individually they're all so cool and i'm hoping they'll all look quite cool on the wall together it's kind of like a red pink orange kind of vibe to them all so i kind of knocked up a little almost like a prototype when i was choosing the prints that we wanted and i sent over kind of like my initial kind of design to adam and he's given it the thumbs up he approves don't you i absolutely approve yeah lawrence llewellyn bowen in the corner over there <laughs> created this little mock-up of how i think they're all going to go together but i'm not sure how this is going to transfer onto that like staircase shape because it's like a diagonal wall i don't know how realistically this is gonna fit so wish me luck it's quite a task in your professional opinion <laughs> in your professional opinion what do you think well in my professional <laughs> opinion i feel like this is gonna take us a long time to uh, god i don't even know it's hard to know about putting them there yeah, but we can't just stick them on the wall and no for the but best. we'll catch up with you when we've got a bit closer to figuring it out many decisions <laughs> Where those when we go to the kitchen? Yeah. You were working in a waitress as a cocktail. Wait, no. You were, you were working as a waitress as a cocktail bar. Dum 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 Hold that pose. <laughs> if we can get through this without splitting up, it's gonna be a miracle. It's proving, proving a challenge. You're on film. Last one. There you go. Where do you think? Like, I don't know whether it should be in line or not. I think it looks the right. Like that. Yeah. Bit wonky. You, yeah. Do you want the thing? Nah. You can do it. Legend. Yeah. This is what you have to do when you put all the prints on the wall. <laughs> is lean your entire body weight <laughs> into the wall and hug, hug. Tell the neighbours you love them. Love you. Thing is, if that one falls, it's going to take down the one below it. Oh my god! Don't and then, say that. and then, Soul Sister's going to go as well. Nice. I think we're good. We did it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Just admiring our handiwork from the sofa, checking out all the angles. Pretty impressed. Smashed it. Some were a bit wonky. <laughs> a little bit of a wonk, but we're all about the homemade vibes, so that's okay. I'll show you. Look, here's the final, the pièce de résistance. So here's the view from the sofa. Here's what it looks like going up the stairs. I think we've done a very good job of this, actually. So first up, we've got this kind of vintagey Berlin funky kind of print. There's probably some kind of cool history to this one, I think, but I don't know what it is. This was actually the one I found the first, and I really liked all the colours in this one, like the red, pink, orange. So that became the theme. Uh, so that's the first one going up the stairs. Then we've got this cute little typography, which says, yes, cute little clams, little mermaidy pink photo. I felt like we had loads of words going on, so I wanted one that was like just really cool photography. Then we've got this neon sign which says cocktails and dinners, because that's what we're all about in this house. Soul Sister, which I thought was nice and retro and kind of tied in with this funky bell in one down here. Um, then up here we've got it's nice to be nice and one that says love 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 This one is a really cool neon sign that says Soho 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 um, So that's it. That's the new print wall. I'm so happy with that I think it suits our little living room really well and then it also matches my office upstairs so I'm well happy Woohoo! So all the prints that I've shown you up here today are from Decenio. It's also one of the easiest places to create a gallery wall like this. They have prints that suit literally every kind of interior's taste you can possibly imagine. They've got all the classic kind of very Pinterest kind of vibes, but then also quite a lot of stuff that's just a little bit different and a bit more quirky like these ones that we've gone for. So I'm going to link everything in the description box down below that you could ever need to know about Decenio. And thanks so much to Decenio for teaming up with me on this little vid. Best part about all of this is that I also have a Decenio discount code. So if you've been thinking about treating yourself to some jazzy new prints, now is the time because if you use the code LucyJaneWood25, over the next few days you'll get 25% off prints across all of Decenio's websites, which is amazing and will save you quite a lot of money. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride, kind of like changing rooms but less Carol Smiley and Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen and more Lucy and Adam putting up wonky prints. Just like that, we're ready to go to Brighton! A quick outfit change. I've gone for my dungarees, this old jacket which I've had for literally 10,000 years, my Doc Martens and some new sunglasses which I'm still not sure suit me but we'll find out. Made a couple of coffees to go and now we're gonna head to Victoria Station and find out when the next train is. They're normally pretty regular aren't they so we should be all right I think. Mm. And then we're gonna meet everyone there. Unfortunately we can't leave yet because the cat's gone in the washing cupboard. Here she is. Don't mind us Flo. I'll see you later. I'll bring you back some rock or maybe some fish and chips. Ooh. <laughs> now you're excited. <laughs> the mention of fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> London looking super pretty today. <laughs> Such a gorgeous day. I hope it's the same down by the sea. After a little bit of a mix up, turns out there's no trains going from Victoria today, so that was a good start. But we've come to Blackfriars instead, and everything seems to be running as normal from Blackfriars. But um, we've got the Brighton Marathon app on Adam's phone, so we're tracking our pals. Here they go. from Sid and Elle and we've got two friends that are doing it as well so we're just heading up the seafront basically in the hope that we bump into someone that we know <laughs> we think they're kind of up into Hove so we're going to keep walking down a little bit and try and find them but it's such a cool atmosphere everyone's absolutely buzzing no one seems to be too distressed that we've seen so far ah! <laughs> hey! <Cool. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> welcome <laughs> Get 
time for chips. It was a bit crazy up at the finish line. Justin's finished. He absolutely smashed it. What did he get? Uh, three, three hours 40, 14, which is unreal. Still got a couple of friends who are still going strong. So we're stopping to have a fish and chip <laughs> break after all this strenuous work. I was just complaining about how far we'd walked. Yeah, it's a really hard day for us. So fish and chips time, and then we're going to go and find a spot to cheer on the others. We're back home, reunited with my girl. And uh, first things first, most importantly, they were giving out free samples of dreamies at the marathon. <laughs> so I've got a handbag full of dreamies. Someone's very excited about it. Do you want another one? I think we do. Here you go. Look. Here you go. <laughs> Adam's caught the sun. He's burnt. <laughs> the burnt boy. Here you go. She's so excited about these. <laughs> you know how happy Justin and Coombe were to complete the marathon? <laughs> Nothing compares to how happy Flo is right now. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Well, it's not too bad. It's only like a little bit... A little bit on there. You're okay. Little Just sun-kissed. Young... Gen gently sun-kissed. My rap name would be Young Gammon. <laughs> film very much in Brighton. I was too excited. It was like such a cool atmosphere, wasn't it? I kept getting distracted by how exciting everything was. Yeah. Didn't really get my camera out that much. I caught a little bit of Justin coming past us. First thing. He absolutely smashed it. Then we spotted Sid. We spotted Sid near the finish line. And then we saw Matt as well. And everybody just did so well. I can't believe it. Like we were talking about it on the way home. We were just saying like, it's so hard to solidly run for 20 minutes, for me. I can't possibly imagine how people even do that. It's just unbelievable. So if you happen to have ever run a marathon and you're watching this video, well done, good work, I'm impressed. So it's been a pretty long day actually. I'm absolutely shattered. And I know that I haven't just run a marathon, but my legs are really hurting <laughs> because we walked really far. And my DMs get really heavy when we've been walking far. Oh, you're so dribbly. No shoe. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Absolute dribbles. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, Flo. Oh, little headbutt. Little dribbles. <laughs> so I think the next order of the day is pyjamas. We've got an Indian takeaway on the way. We have not had a very healthy day today. <laughs> But never mind. And we have walked a lot of steps today. We've done about 25,000 steps just walking up and down the seafront, which was so nice. We, um, at one point when we were waiting to see Matt come past, we got sucked into this like leery corner of the marathon where everyone was like dishing out beers to the runners. <laughs> it was so good, wasn't it? Oh, everyone really. was like reaching beers out to the people that were running past and like, wee! It was so good. <laughs> Every runner who picked up a beer would like sip it and be like, wee! <laughs> And then immediately regret that they had to run yeah. with a beer in their hand. Did you it for the laugh and then instantly regretted it. <laughs> You're moisturising your sunburn away. It's what you're meant to do, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Well, then there you go. There Something. you go. You'll be fine. So that's the end of the vlog. I'm sorry if it was a little bit rubbish. I feel like I've filmed a really <laughs> random mix of things while we were out and about today. So I'm really looking forward to trying to fit this together into a half decent video. But never mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a little thumbs up. What do they have to do? Give it a thumbs down if you didn't no, like it. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Goodbye. I'm tired. I feel like I've run a marathon. Maybe emotionally.